After Order 66 was transmitted to every clone trooper of the Republic, three specific clones received a personal message from Darth Sidious during the events of the Jedi Purge. So why did Commander Cody, Commander Grey and possibly even Captain Rex receive a personalised message from Chancellor Palpatine? I'm going to break down exactly why these clones were addressed directly by name and why Rex probably was too. So before we get into it, remember to hit the subscribe button with notifications on for more awesome Star Wars lore content. At the moment, only 12% of you who are watching this video are subscribed. So if you do enjoy the content, remember to subscribe for more. We know from Revenge of the Sith that each clone commander who received a hologram communication informed informing them of Order 66, was actually receiving a personalised message from Darth Sidious. We know this because certain other commanders like Neo only received the voice communication through his helmet, informing him of the order to destroy the Jedi. The reason Palpatine didn't give direct communication to Commander Neo is probably because he didn't believe that Neo's general, Stas Ali, was a big enough threat or a top priority despite being a member of the Jedi Council. Jedi who were very important to the Republic, like Jedi Masters, Council members and those within higher leadership of the military were given top priority on the Order 66 kill list because of their potential to destroy Darth Sidious's plan to create the Empire. In Revenge of the Sith, Darth Sidious sends a hologram transmission to Commander Cody on Utapau, stating, Commander Cody, the time has come. Execute Order 66. Following this, he carried out Palpatine's order by blasting Obi-Wan Kenobi off his boga, sending him plunging into the depths of Utapau. Despite being unsuccessful in carrying out his order, he was very quick to act and take control of the battle just as Sidious intended. So why did Sidious call Cody by name? He likely did it for these reasons. Obi-Wan Kenobi was likely at the top of the kill list for Order 66 because he was the master of Anakin Skywalker and the person with the deepest connection and brotherhood with him. Kenobi was very likely the absolute highest priority Jedi to be executed because of his close connection to Anakin and his ability to keep him calm and stable in times of deep distress. He was probably also one of the only Jedi, along with Ahsoka Tano, who would be capable of pulling Anakin back to the light side and foiling Sidious's plan to create the Empire. On many occasions throughout the Clone Wars, Obi-Wan saved Anakin from doing reckless and harmful things, keeping him firmly within the boundaries of a Jedi, in most cases. As soon as Anakin was unable to receive the guidance of Obi-Wan, he began to fall deeper into the dark side, embracing his anger, hate, and suffering. We know that Palpatine wanted Kenobi dead multiple times before Order 66 was called, which was demonstrated most notably when he wanted Anakin to leave Kenobi dead on Grievous's ship as they escaped the scene of his kidnapping. In the Revenge of the Sith novelization, we also learn that Palpatine knew Kenobi would keep Anakin on the light side as long as they were together, and for that reason sent Kenobi to Utapau so that they would be separated. This set the stage so that nobody could interfere with his attempts to take Anakin to the dark side and initiate him as his new Sith apprentice. So because of the incredible importance and risk of leaving Kenobi alive, Palpatine decided that it was necessary to contact Commander Cody personally for his execution. Obviously that didn't go as planned and Kenobi survived a 500 meter fall. Following that, Commander Grey also received a personal message to activate Order 66 and was even called by his name. Commander Grey was the clone commander of Jedi Master Depa Balaba and her Padawan Caleb Doom who went on to become Kanan Jarrus from Star Wars Rebels. The reason this clone commander received a specific message and was even named by Palpatine is a little more unclear. Depa Balaba was not all that important to Anakin Skywalker and would likely have had no effect whatsoever on his fall to the dark side. Depa Balaba was, however, a member of the Jedi High Council, who was part of the highest level of decision making throughout the Clone Wars. Because of her high position within the Jedi Order and the fact that she was a member of the Council, Palpatine likely believed that she was an essential target for the Order. Finally, Captain Rex also received a hologram communication beginning the commencement of Order 66, while aboard a Republic cruiser with his Jedi Commander Ahsoka Tano. Although Palpatine did not mention Rex's name on screen, it is very likely that he did actually say the name of Commander Rex when he gave the order. We know this because the camera cuts directly to Palpatine without much delay, swiftly giving Rex the order. Because Dave Filoni wanted to use the original audio from Revenge of the Sith, he obviously was not able to make Palpatine say Rex's name on screen, but it likely did happen just before the camera cut back to him. We also know that this was a personalised message because of the small pause that Palpatine takes after Rex acknowledges the command. This small pause after Rex says, yes, Lord Sidious, indicates that this is almost certainly a live hologram communication between the two. Palpatine's reason for contacting Rex personally
personally with the order is very similar to that of Obi-Wan Kenobi and Commander Cody. Ahsoka is of course the apprentice of Anakin Skywalker and again one of the only people that would have the potential to pull him back to the light. If Ahsoka was able to reach Anakin before his betrayal, there is a strong possibility that she could have convinced him to continue following the Jedi way and that the dark side was not the only way to save Padme. But let me know what you think. Do you think Rex and Ahsoka had the potential to pull Anakin back to the light or was he already too far gone? Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe to the channel and support me on Patreon which is linked in the pinned comment down below. Cheers guys, hope to see you in the next one.